This is the airport at Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I, I am, I am after uh, a week of travel uh, to Claremont to the Center for Process Studies to a conference on theopoetics. A couple um, great days uh, before that for the Quaker Writers Conference, and then after that, uh, a couple great days. With Becky Memlar of First Friends Whittier Church led some uh, religious education there and um, preached Sunday morning. And I wanted to just make an uh, on-the-road video because it's been a while, and I will be traveling a lot in May, so it's likely to get these grainy videos again and again. And what I want to reflect on um, is the importance uh, of story. And I talk a lot about poetry, and sometimes I think that that gets in the way uh, of really what that, the heart of what I think is important to me. So why I'm, I like poetry is because uh, it acknowledges that the world that we see can be described in lots of ways, and you can describe it in powerful, particular, descriptive ways that evoke different feelings. So you can talk about love as a rose, or love as a raging flood, or love as a mother and her child. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to talk about love, and every time we do it, it evokes this different uh, meaning of love. And so I love the idea of poetic ascriptions to God and our experience of God, because it gives us different senses and different concepts of what God is, and I think it allows us to understand more fully how it is that God uh, works in our lives. You know, uh, Wes Daniels talks about mission and missiology being not about going to other places to show them what God looks like, but going to other places to see how God works in ways we would not have seen if we had not God. In some um, significant way, I think that there's a lot about what my work is, finding other ways that God is working in the world, finding other ways to name how God is working in the world, and listening to other people tell how it is they feel that God works in the world. Um, one of the things that uh, the Quaker Writers Conference, the Theopoetics Conference, and the time I spent with Whittier First Friend Church has really all um, begun to resonate with me is this idea that maybe it's not so much about the, the poetry of it, but, but the narrative of it, and that poetics scares people off. I don't mean poetics in terms of formal study of poetry. I mean the ability to be metaphoric, descriptive, lush, to have a surplus of meaning, and to explore the way uh, God works, as opposed to just rigidly defining it in a systematic. I think there's room for systematic. I spent some time with Catherine Keller, and she has uh, really convinced me over the past few days that we need systematics. We need something to be firm so that those of us that are uh, more flighty or um, are more evocative have something to stand on. So I'm, I'm more firmly convinced now that the need for a systematic theology is present and that on top of it, or as a supplement to it, in the, in the way Derrida uses that, as a supplemental to it, um, we can have these evocative narrative and poetic stories. Um, so it's something for me to think about, because what I really want to invite people to do is explain to me their experience of God in the world. And I don't need them to be uh, being poets, but I, I wonder if maybe what's happening is in the collection of lots of stories and narratives, what I'm receiving is a self-made poem. You know, uh, one line answers to what is God to you from 30 people will read an awful lot like one poem written by one person. So it's something for me to think about my terminology. What do I mean by poetry? What do I mean by poetic, by the poem, by narrative? And, and what's my goal? Um, I, I think my goal is to explore how it is that God is at work in the world and to find new language that helps other people resonate with the fact that God is at work in the world. Um, that's new language for me, and uh, I'll be trying it on. So thanks to everyone at the Theopoetics Conference, incredible folk. Uh, thanks to the people at QUIP, uh, the Quaker Writers Conference, and thanks certainly to the hosting of Becky Memlar and all of the friends at First Friends Whittier. It has been a great week. Um, I hope to see some of you again, and uh, much love.